I talk about adding hard drives, adding that precious space to your Plex media server, but something I've never really talked about, and that is deleting stuff off your Plex. It almost, it's like the little bad taste in the back of your mouth. Like, did he just say that? But in today's video, let's talk about deleting stuff off of your Plex media server, specifically duplicate stuff. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits, and in today's video, I wanna talk about an easy way to manage duplicates on your Plex media server. That's right, duplicates. We all have them, it's a problem, you need to admit it. And in today's video, we're going to address it. Okay, you probably have the problem. It's very possible probable, if anything. So two things before I get started. Yes, this is part of a Plex monthly sponsorship that I have. And two, this idea came from Discord. Thank you, Liquid, for the idea. So duplicate media. Now, there are a few different ways that you can search for duplicate media on your Plex media server. Sure, you could go into your files and manually check each folder if you wanted to. Or a better and smarter way, you could go into Plex, browse your movies, and you could look for anything that has a number on the top left of the post art. So in this example here, when I browse my movies on the top left of the post art, this movie has a number two, which means there's two different copies of it. And this movie over here has a number three. Now, while this is a fantastic fantastic way to find duplicate movies on your Plex media server, it's not necessarily efficient. And the demonstration that I'm showing you now, I only have six or seven movies. So being able to look at all of my movies all at once and seeing which one had numbers is extremely efficient because I only have six or seven. But let's say you just happen to be an ultimate Plexer and you have one, two, three, four plus thousand movies or TV shows on your Plex media server. Yes, you could still go through and look at each one, but it's probably gonna take you a long time. And this is where the duplicates option built into Plex can make your life a heck of a lot easier. To view duplicates on your Plex media server with ease, let's start off by going into your movie library. With movies, it's actually super simple. On the top left of the screen, you can click the little drop down and select duplicates. This will automatically display any movies in your movie library that have duplicate files, and it will only display those with duplicate files. It won't actually litter in other titles that don't have duplicates. And the great thing about Plex is that, well, it makes it actually really easy to delete a duplicate file. Now, the easiest way here to manage these duplicate files on your Plex media server is to simply click the three little dots on the bottom right hand side of the poster art. From here you'll see a drop down menu and you select get info. Now from get info if you are viewing one with a duplicate file you will see both file names at the top listed. To the right of the file name you'll see an option to delete one or the other. Now before you go deleting files unless it's completely obvious which one you should delete you should note that you can scroll down and you can view more information about these media files before you, you know, irreplaceably just remove it. That would really suck if you got rid of like a Blu-ray rip versus, you know, a DVD rip. That'd be horrible. Don't do that. So in this particular example here, I have multiple copies of actually the same exact file. So when I scroll down, I can see that both files are the same and I legitimately just have a duplicate file. To delete this file, I can scroll back up, go to the right and click on delete file. Yes, this actually does delete it from your Plex media server. So again, just make sure you're deleting the correct one. Things you wanna take note before deleting a file are things like your bit rate or your resolution. If you have a 1080 versus a 480, or maybe you have a four megabit per second versus a 20 megabit per second movie file. In this example, I actually have three different files, two of which are the same exact file. One is an obvious fake. So when I scroll down, I can see how big the movie file is, and that tells me right off the bat that this is either A, not a very good quality, or B, it's just the wrong file altogether. And yes, you can do this with TV shows as well. However, it does take an extra step to accomplish the same task. But once you kind of get the flow going, it goes pretty quickly. So if you go into your TV shows folder, instead of viewing the poster art, what you're gonna wanna do is go up to the top left again, and from this drop down, select episodes. This will actually put all of your TV episodes in a list. For the purpose of this video, I'm only going to demonstrate one TV show, but when you sort these by just the episodes, that's when you get the option to only show duplicate files. And from here, you can either click into the file or better yet, just go all the way to the right, click the three dots, and from the drop down, click get info. You just repeat the same process. As you can see, I have three of the exact same file. They're just named differently. So I'll go through and I'll delete the two that I do not want to keep. 
Now that I think about it, you could probably do this with music as well. I just don't use music, so I didn't even think to test it. But hey, let me know in the comments down below if you can do the same exact thing with music. So there you have it. That is an easy way to manage and save space on your Plex media server and hopefully free up a couple of those juicy terabytes that you can use for something else. But hey, that's it for today, guys. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them down below. Thank you for watching. As always, like and subscribe and have yourself a good night.